The next honoree is Carl T. Tomizuka. He's accompanied today by his wife, Sheila Tobias. The citation is for outstanding original research contributions to our understanding of atomic motion in solids and the effects of high pressure on the properties of matter, and for leadership in promoting science careers for women and members of underrepresented groups. A professor emeritus of the Department of Physics at the University of Arizona at Tucson, Carl T. Tomizuka earned his master's and doctoral degrees at Illinois. Professor Tomizuka has had an extraordinary life in extraordinary times. He survived a major earthquake and incendiary raids and was among the elite selected to study in the United States. He has, in his words, been in the right place at the right time with the right people. I hope he doesn't know the cell phone. <laughs> OK. I'm not sure whether to dance now. You know. <laughs> he has, in his words, been in the right place at the right time and with the right people. And we shared in that good fortune in our college when his fellowship was assigned to the master's program in physics at Illinois, and again when he was selected as one of only 100 Japanese immigrants to the United States. While working on his PhD, PhD Professor Tomizuka carried out pioneering experiments in the precise measurement of the rate of atomic motion in solids using radioactive tracers. His legacy was a platinum thermocouple known as the Tomizuka Standard thermocouple. After receiving his PhD, he worked on John Badin's experimental program in semiconductor physics, and then as a research assistant professor before moving to the University of Chicago and later at the University of Arizona. After retiring, Professor Tomizuka embarked on a second career as a consultant for US inventors and companies seeking to obtain and defend Japanese patents. In addition, Professor Tomizuka has worked to address the problem of underrepresentation of women and minorities in science and engineering. Those efforts include co-authoring a book with practical advice on preparing for college. So it is my greatest honor to invite Professor Kati Tomizuka to accept College's Alumni Award for Distinguished Service. helps to have some members of the selection committee know me. <laughs> uh, actually, not I, but the Illinois Physics Department and its faculty deserve this award. It's all on account of them. Con considering what they have given me during my years and thereafter, I should have accomplished more but I ran out of time. Uh, when I arrived in Urbana in September 1950, 60 years ago, uh, I was most warmly welcomed. It was uh, only five years after the end of the most brutal, savage war, but I was still well, warmly welcomed. I was made to feel there was uh, no national boundary when it came to physics. Also, we graduate students, all of us, were made to feel that we were equal citizens of physics. As ignorant and inexperienced as we all were. 
Professor Lazarus, for instance, uh, insisted that he and the rest of us, all students, be on a first name basis. This was totally unthinkable from where I come, uh, University of Tokyo. Later, I had no luck enforcing this to my graduate students at Arizona, even as a department head. <laughs> Dr. T was the best I could get. <laughs> this was, um, and I know it still is, a very unique and remarkable department. Um, not only it's uni unique that it belongs to the College of Engineering, but in research and in teaching as well. Um, department not only taught me physics, but most importantly, it taught me how to think like a physicist. And they also tried to convince me to be a 24-hour physicist. I was at a faculty party at, after I got my degree, and um, the head of the department, Professor Loomis, whose name is on the building around the corner here, from here, uh, approached me and said, is there another Carl Tomizuka in Champaign, Urbana? I was startled. I said, I didn't think so. Why? He said, there's somebody in Champaign, Urbana, purport to be Carl Tomizuka, who has written a book review, literary book review, on Daily Illini. Any dedicated physicist, physicist certainly wouldn't have time to do so. <laughs> I got the message, and this was my, my last endeavor uh, to be a writer until I married one in later years. Uh, I'm proud that this physics department, in, the, in condensed matter physics, which used to be known as solid city physics, is consistently ranked number one in the nation year after year. That probably means best in the world. It happens to be my specialization. specialization. It is by far the most populous field, subfield of physics. It's therefore in my best own interest, self-interest, to do everything possible to have this department maintain its excellence leadership in this field. But uh, so it also it needs a more enormous amount of resources, financial and otherwise. Financial part I can do very little. But other other aspect possibly I can help. When I was writing a check, my wife said, don't write that check. Send your best bet physics graduates to do graduate work in Arizona. That was a good idea. Um, I tried, there are some who have personal reasons to go elsewhere, partly because of your, their boyfriends or girlfriends go to Stanford, Berkeley, UCLA, and so forth. So I lost some of my best friends to Princeton, Stanford, Berkeley, Caltech. But when I succeeded, in the 70s, early, uh, one said the departmental encouragement and support is enormous. Like the faculty, they're all enthusiastic. But her peers, her peers were resentful that they were, she was taking their job away. Later on, uh, times were different in the late 80s. I finally managed to persuade one to come here. And she succeeded, and she went down to Arkansas, the University of Arkansas Fayetteville, now a tenured full professor. In do so doing, along the way, she picked up a graduate student here as her husband. Uh, I have observed uh, that uh, uh, and the department is unique, most unique in anywhere. Uh, I told 
yesterday, people who are getting their PhD in physics, that they'll really miss this place. It'll be a shock to go out. Yeah, there's no place anywhere. That must be why we're coming back again and again. Since for some people, uh, I don't really look like a native to Sonam. Some ask me, where are you from? And I say uh, to them that uh, I'm from Urbana, Illinois. Um, my reflex, reflex is justified in that this is where I grew up as a physicist. And I thank you for inviting me back home. Thank you.